Today we're going to fix a dishwasher that hasn't been cleaned too well. It's a pretty easy job and should actually be checked every once a year or every two years, depending on your usage. This is a Samsung model. Now the first thing we need to check are the spray arms. Check the top and bottom ones. Bottom one here just pulls straight off. You want to check the holes for any debris or hard water buildup. This one looks fine. We're just going to put it aside. Uh, next thing we want to do is the water tube. So this will come off also just with a little bit of force. Just pops right out. Just be careful it is plastic. You don't want to break or damage anything. And there is some give, so you don't have to take the whole assembly off. Just move it to the side. Um, don't forget the O-ring. Check it out, see if there's any nicks or if it needs to be replaced while you have it out. Now we're going to take off the filter assembly. Whole bunch of screws there. Just take that out. Inspect the filter, make sure it doesn't have any holes or anything in it also. Um, and then give it a good wash, a good, good clean. Now for the impeller. Just one screw on the top there. And this should come off too, a little bit of force. Oh, there she goes. Everything looks good with this. Put it aside. Now the bottom assembly. So this is where all the junk is. We got a lot of food debris, pretty gross in there. It needs a really good cleaning. Um, but we found another problem, which is actually the food chopper blade is broken. So this chops up all the debris and all the food very, very fine. Um, but since it's broken, you can see it's getting really jammed up. So we have two problems here. Take everything apart and clean up everything really well. Then put it back together the way you found it. So right now I'm not going to be putting the food chopper blade back on because I just ordered one. Um, but it's very simple, it just fits over the top. It's a tiny metal blade. Uh, dishwasher will work without it. Uh, probably better to rinse your dishes before putting them in just to help with it so it doesn't get clogged up again. But in the meantime, you're fine to run it without it. So. Uh, reassemble everything, make sure all the screws are in. Be careful not to over tighten anything. A lot of plastic parts here. All right, all good. Now, we just have to put the water tube back on. Don't forget that O-ring. Little bit of force, and it should just pop back down in place. There we go. Now, uh, last but not least, the spray arm. Pop that back in, and we are ready to go. Put your dish rack back in, and uh, time to wash some dishes. Hope this helped. Um, this should be very similar to a lot of models. Once you get things apart, you'll kind of recognize what, what parts are what. Uh, so this blade, like I said, is on order, and I will replace that later on. It is not necessary at the moment anyway. Good to go. Thanks for watching, hope this helps. Please subscribe for more tips on random handyman jobs in your daily grind.